Further, there's been a strong correlation between using EMG and recommendation of the best exercises for hypertrophy, aka building muscle. The standard goes that the higher the EMG amplitude, the better that exercise is for building a particular muscle. It's in research, you see it in YouTube videos, it's all over. But a study done on the glutes throws a big spanner in the work for these kind of recommendations. So when certain exercises are getting ranked for muscle building based on EMG data, it could all be completely false. And we're gonna go through why that is and what actually matters instead. So EMG is electromyography and it records the electrical impulses that your muscles produce. Greater amplitude means a stronger impulse, which would suggest greater muscle activation, which in turn would suggest greater muscle growth, right? But this study ruins that theory. What was it looking at? What the hell is going on? The study measured muscle building and strength of the glutes to see which was best between the hip thrust and the squat. Two solid exercises. It used EMG to measure muscle activation for the glutes and then used MRI to measure muscle hypertrophy. And there was the big finding that changes so much in terms of recommendation of exercises for muscle growth. And it was all measured gluteal sites showed greater mean EMG amplitudes during the first bout hip thrust versus squat set. But this did not consistently predict gluteal hypertrophy outcomes. So, based on the EMG data, you'd expect greater glute building from the hip thrust, but they didn't see that. Statistically, the squat delivered just as much hypertrophy with less EMG activation. So, what actually matters then? What would explain this? And what does this mean for choosing the best exercises to do? Well, the honest answer is, we don't truly know why it showed this. There is a lot coming out now suggesting that muscle stretch actually plays a bigger part than originally thought for building muscle and that it isn't all just about activation. So when doing exercises, make the most of that stretch position rather than finishing short. At the end of the day though, actually just training the muscle and doing it consistently is the best thing. As I've said many times over, an average training plan done consistently will always outperform a perfect training program done rarely. If you're interested in exercises really getting into that stretch position, then check out this video here where we cover exercises for the whole body. This was mainly targeted to get more benefit for flexibility and mobility, but it also seems incorporating a lot of these techniques into your training can be helpful with building muscle as well.